Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next-door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Down, dear. Why, we're really gonna kill him. We'll murder him, boy. What's this? It's my new paddle. Pretty neat, huh? Watch his forehand. Oh, be careful. <laughs> we're gonna kill him. Oh! <laughs> Cut it out. You'll kill us all. Well, will I kill Pop? We're gonna win the whole tournament, I bet. What is it, a ping pong tournament? Please, Mom, not ping pong. Table tennis. At least that's what Mr. Bigelow says. Well, who's Mr. Bigelow? He's the man down at the Y. He's in charge of the whole tournament. It's for fathers and sons. You think Pop will want to play with me? Well, I don't know. All you have to be is a father and son, and he's my father. Yes, I know. <laughs> if he's my father, then I'm his son. Yes, it usually follows. It works out pretty good, doesn't it, Mom? Well, I've always been pleased with the arrangement. <laughs> Pop and I will sure make a great team. Better sit down and cool off first. Hi, Bob. Oh, hi, Dave. They're signing up for that tournament. Is the why? Uh, what tournament is that? Uh, the father and son's ping pong tournament. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I think we'd have a pretty good chance of winning the thing. Well, gee, I don't know, Dave. I I'm pretty rusty. Oh, that's okay, Pop. I can carry you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Oh, that's well. I think I'll go over to Georgie Dunkel's and borrow his ping pong table. He and his father can't play. Well, how come? Well, uh, Mr. Dunkel's out of town and Georgie's going to a dance. Oh. Well, gee, do you think you can carry that table all by yourself? It's pretty heavy, you know. Heck, I may have to carry something heavier than that in the tournament. <laughs> a very thick pair of pants I'm wearing. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Was that David with you? Yeah, he just went over the Dunkles to borrow their ping pong table. They're having a tournament over at the Y. Oh, yes, I know. Ricky's all excited about it. He was telling me. Uh, who's that? Ricky. He insists that you'll kill him. And from the way he swings that paddle, I believe him. <laughs> you sure you mean Ricky? Well, yes, we're talking about the father and son table tennis tournament, aren't we? Well, yes, but I had no idea Ricky wanted to play with me. Of course, he is my son. Yes, he and I have already confirmed that. <laughs> well, I know he's counting on it. He's got a new paddle and all. Oh, gee, and David just asked me to play with him just a minute ago. Oh. Well, maybe David could play one game with you, and then Ricky could play no, with No, 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 you can't do that. Whoever's your partner at the start of the tournament is your partner throughout. Well, maybe if David knew that Ricky wanted to play, he'd let him. Did he seem anxious about it? Oh, yeah, I, I'm afraid he did. Very anxious. Well, I think I'll go out and polish the car and think this over. Do you have to polish the car to think? <laughs> well, no, not necessarily, but while I'm thinking, I can be getting my arm in shape at the same time. <laughs> trouble oh oh uh, nothing serious just doing a little thinking here yeah what you thinking about or is that taking too much for granted <laughs> oh, uh, i have a little bit of a family problem see they're having a table tennis tournament over at the y and it seems that david and ricky are both sort of counting on me to play with them it, it's a father and son tournament oh i wouldn't worry too much about Oz. <laughs> matter of fact you don't have to worry about playing at all well what do you mean well, I mean, the combination of Thornberry and Thornberry is going to walk off with the first prize. Oh, who says so? Thornberry. <laughs> well, we may have a little to say about that. Yes, you might. 
That is, if you change your name to Thornberry. <laughs> I guess you don't realize it, but I was practically raised on a ping pong table. Oh, is that so? Oh, sure. I've been playing the game practically all my life. In fact, my dad gave me my first paddle when I was only two years old. <laughs> Sounds like he taught you the hard way. <laughs> well, I was waiting to see my smashing forehand. That is, you'll be able to see it if they take any slow motion films of the tournament. I tell you what I do when somebody gives me one of those smashing forehands. I step back about two paces, and I slice a little backhand. You'll go this way, the ball will go that way. You'll be lucky if you don't fall down on the floor. <laughs> ah, so just about that time, I'll sneak in with a smashing backhand like that. Oh, you're right back at you, 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 right back at If there's anything I can't stand, it's a cheater. <laughs> Don't take it so seriously. We were just pretending. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a guy who cheats at pretending to play table tennis. <laughs> shadow boxing going on out in the yard. Oh, that was Thorny demonstrating his table tennis form. What were you doing? Uh, uh demonstrating mine. Is <laughs> Thorny going to enter the tournament? Is he going to enter it? Are you kidding? According to him, he and Will are going to sew the thing up. I have never in my life heard anybody brag the way that guy does. Also, according to him, he's been playing table tennis since he was two years old. Claims his dad taught him. I don't think the game was even invented in those days. Well, I wouldn't let him get me all steamed up. Have you decided which one of the boys you're going to play with? Oh, uh, no. I went out there to think that over, but I wound up standing there listening to Thorny boast about himself. It might be a good idea if we don't play in the darn thing. You mean instead of losing to the Thornberries? What do you mean losing to the Thornberries? David and I will... Uh, Ricky and I... Well, somebody and I will give him plenty of trouble, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you one thing, you're going to have him plenty confused. Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. I brought oh. the table over from the Dunkles, Pa. Oh, uh, uh, Dave, uh, I, I wanted to speak to you about that, son. Oh, it wasn't too heavy, Pa. Georgie, help me. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, well, well, that's fine. You know, the more I think of this, the more I'm convinced that we're going to win this tournament hands down. Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, that's what I wanted to speak to you about, Dave. Everybody? Anyone for table tennis? What the heck are you all dressed up for? There's a tournament down the Y, and Pop and I are going to play in it. How about it, Pop? Well, uh, uh, Rick, I want to talk to you about that. Pop can't play with you. He's playing with me. Aren't you, Pop? Well, uh, uh I want to talk to you about that, Dave. Pop's playing with me. Heck, I got a new paddle and everything. What difference does that make? I asked him first. Besides, it's a father and son's tournament, and I'm his son. What do I look like, his daughter? <laughs> possibility. Uh, <laughs> who are you going to play with, Pa? Well, uh, uh, that's what I, I wanted to discuss with you guys. Now, we know there's this table tennis tournament at the Y. We have that established. And we know it's a father's and, and son's tournament uh, uh, for fathers to play with their sons. And we know that you boys, uh, each of you, is, is a son of mine. Uh, so, uh, obviously, I'm eligible to play with each of you boys, but... Not with both of you, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, uh, that's our predicament. I have a suggestion to make. Why don't you flip a coin? Yeah, hey, I think that's a wonderful idea. Is that okay with you guys? Sure. Uh -huh. Fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I have any money. Do you have any money with you, Harriet? Nope, I got lots of pockets, but no money. Uh, a day. I don't have a cent, Pop. Wait a minute, Pop. Okay, who wants to call it? I'll call it. I'll call it. I'll call it. I'll call it. I'm the oldest. I'm dressed for it. <laughs> I'll call it. Heads. I play. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm already playing. Uh, well, okay. I'll toss it and uh, you call, Rick. Heads. I'm sorry, it's tails. 
Well, Dave, it looks like you and I are the team of Nelson and Nelson. Sorry, little man. Better luck next time. Hey, wait a minute, Pop. That's no fair. What do you mean it's not of fair? Of course it's fair. Now, look, you have to learn how to be a good loser. Dad tossed the coin, you called it, and you lost. Now, David's going to play with him in the tournament. Sure, that's fair. Heck, I'm not talking about that. I just want my quarter back. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. How do you feel? I feel fine. Oh. Well, you don't have to sound so disappointed. I'm not disappointed. Just asking you how you feel. After all, a brother should be brotherly, shouldn't he? Well, I suppose so. You sure you feel okay? I wouldn't want you to miss that ping pong tournament tomorrow night. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Of course, if you should happen to miss it, I'd be very happy to take your place. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. That's very considerate of you. Do you think we ought to take your temperature? You look like you have a fever. I feel fine. Well, I don't know. There's an awful lot of mumps going around these days. <laughs> look, Ricky, you can play with Pop in the tournament next year. Next year? That's a long time to wait. Months from now. Well, we tossed the coin and I won. It was all fair and square. I was talking to Georgie Junkle, and he says there's a high school dance tomorrow night. So what? How come you aren't going? Because I'm playing in the ping pong tournament with Pop. See, the dance sure sounds like a lot of fun to me. Then why don't you go to it? Why don't you and we both have a good time? <laughs> well, in the first place, I don't have a date. Heck, Nancy Baker would love to go with you. How do you know? I called her a little while ago and asked her. <laughs> you, you made a date with Nancy Baker for me? Well, don't get excited, David. I didn't exactly make a date. I just called and kind of hinted that you might be available. Well, I couldn't go anyway. I don't have any money. I might be able to take care of that, too. How much do you need? Oh, about $4. David, my boy, your worries are over. I just happen to have $4 available, and I'd be happy to lend it to you. Well, that's very nice of you, but I happen to be playing ping pong with Pop tomorrow night. How can you? You told Nancy Baker you were taking her to the dance. <laughs> I didn't tell Nancy Baker anything. You're a regular little Mr. Fix-It, aren't you? I'm just trying to work it out so we both have a good time tomorrow night. You really want to play in the tournament, huh? I sure do, boy. I just made you a firm offer of $4. In other words, you'd be willing to buy my partnership. I sure would. Is it a deal? Let me think this over for a minute. I suppose the dance would be fun, especially if I went with Nancy. I'll give you the $4 and I'll shine your shoes for you. <laughs> How could I explain this to Pop? Heck, he won't care. Don't forget I'm a darn good ping pong player if I do say so myself. Yeah, but I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Parents are very sensitive people, you know. Well, they are, huh? Well, sure, you got to be tactful. Any sudden emotional disturbance may have serious complications. Their sense of security can become shaken. They might develop certain inner frustrations, which in turn can cause them to become neurotic, or at least cause a definite personality change. You see, you gotta be more than just a son, you gotta be a psychologist. You gotta know a lot of big words, too. <laughs> How about it? Is a partnership for sale? I can't resist that eager little face peering up at me. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. What's the deal, Dave? Oh, hi, Pop. Ricky and I were just making a little business transaction. I hope you don't get the wrong idea. Uh, about what? Well, Ricky's gonna be your partner tomorrow night instead of me. Oh! See, there's a dance at school, and since Ricky's dying to play in the tournament anyway, I figured I'd go to the dance and let him take my place. For a certain monetary remuneration. I know a few crazy words myself. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to play in the tournament, Pop. Oh, oh, no, I understand, Dave. I think that's very considerate of you. Uh, who are you going to dance with? Uh, Nancy Baker, I'm told. <laughs> well, are you two going alone? I thought you and Will Thornberry usually doubled uh, at these dances. I'm afraid Will won't be going any place for a while. He's three months overdrawn on his allowance. Besides, I guess he'd be playing in the tournament. Oh. Well, which do you think he'd rather do? Gee, I don't know. He just started going steady with some girl. I suppose she won't be too happy about missing the dance. Oh. Well, gee, it, it seems a shame to let a little thing like money interfere with romance. Uh, how much do you think he'd need? About four dollars. 
Oh, well, I'm sort of a romantic guy at heart. I think I can see my way clear to, to lend Will the money. It's for a worthy cause. <laughs> Gosh, that'd be swell, Pa. But what about Mr. Thornbury? Oh, uh, knowing Thorny the way I do, I feel sure he'd do the same thing if he were in my place. <laughs> see, uh, he and I think the same way about these matters. Here, you give Will the money with my compliments, Dave. Gee, thanks a lot, Pop. I know he'll appreciate it. I'll go tell him right now. You know, Pop, you're a very generous man. Well, I always try to do a good turn now and then, Rick. You still feel in a generous mood? Generous mood? Why do you ask that, son? I was just wondering if you could lend me four dollars, too. <laughs> Ricky have really been sharpening up for the tournament. Yeah, it looks like Nelson and Nelson's the team to beat. <laughs> well, Thornberry and Thornberry's the team that can do it. <laughs> uh, Thorny, you talk pretty big, but frankly, I'll be surprised if you guys even show up for the tournament. <laughs> Don't worry, Oz, we'll be there. In fact, I'm chairman of the trophy committee. Oh, well, pick out a good one for me. <laughs> Oz, I admire your confidence, but I really think it'd be best if you stayed home tomorrow night. I know what a sore loser you are, and there's no sense in ruining our beautiful friendship. Say, you sound like you honestly believe you've got a chance of winning. Uh, Oz, we're a cinch. It's my devastating serve that'll do the trick. I really smashed that ball, boy. It's a tough one to handle, too. Well, I've got a pretty powerful serve myself. Yes, I've seen it, Oz. Uh, you've got a pretty nice little serve there. But mine goes over the net. <laughs> Don't worry, Oz. I'll let you win a couple of points so you won't look too bad. Uh, uh we'll see. Uh, by the way, how's your boy Will? Will? We fine. Oh, uh, that's nice. I'm glad to hear it. Have you seen him recently? Yeah, I see him now and then. He lives at our house, you know. <laughs> I have a sudden interest in Will. Oh, no special reason. Just inquiring about the family. Well, they're all fine, Oz. Oh, good. Well, I'd better go in and see if I can help Harriet with anything. I'll see you later, Thorny. <laughs> well, fine, Oz. I'll, uh, see you later. <laughs> Hi, boys. Hi, Hi Tom. Uh, Dave, did you get a chance to speak to Will Thornberry? Yeah, I saw him just a little while ago, and I gave him the money. Oh, good. Well, he sure was happy. Oh, that, that, that's swell. Then he's definitely going to the dance with you tomorrow night. Oh, sure. Good. Who's going to what dance? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Ricky's going to play with me in the tournament, and David's going to go to the school dance tomorrow night. Yeah, Will and I are doubling. Pop lent him the money so he could go. Oh, really? Well, it was very generous of you, dear. Oh, I'm a very generous fellow. Uh, Will was kind of disappointed that he didn't have enough money to go, and, you know, we like to have our neighbors happy. Yes, well, we're liable to have a very unhappy neighbor pounding at the door at any minute. <laughs> See that, Harriet? There's an old familiar quotation fits this occasion. All's fair in love and ping pong. <laughs> well, we're off to the tournament, Harriet. Oh, good luck, luck dear. <laughs> Thank you. May the better team emerge triumphant. That's us, Ma. <laughs> Good luck, Tom. Well, thanks, Dave, and have a nice time at the dance. Uh, Will Thornberry is definitely going with you, isn't he? He ain't better, or I'm stuck with two girls. <laughs> Good night, dear. Have a good time. Good night, Dave. Oh, uh, uh, Harriet, maybe you'd better make a little more room on this mantle. I have a hunch Ricky and I are going to come home with two huge trophies. Well, I hope so. Good luck, dear. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Partner, you'll overtrain.
Captain. Well, we wanted to hurry home and tell you the good news. We won, Ma. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Oh, gee. Yeah, the last match was pretty tough, but the team of Nelson and Nelson managed to emerge victorious. Well, congratulations, Nelson and Nelson. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Where are they? Uh, where are what? The trophies. I cleared the mantle for you. Oh, oh, oh. You know, we got very nice trophies. One for Ricky and, and one for me. We, uh... Oh, oh, uh, here we are. There. <laughs> well, it, it's lovely. Well, yeah, I, I, I think it, it, it's very nice, uh, very fitting to the occasion. It, it's, it's nice and, and, and dainty. I mean, I, I think sometime a trophy can be too huge, and then it looks vulgar and bizarre. Oh, oh well, this is a very nice size. A, a nice size, yes. <laughs> Gee, it looks pretty nice on the mantle, doesn't it, Pop? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yeah, that looks very nice there. See, you know, I think your trophy is a little larger than mine. You make a nice pair, though. Uh, Harry, you know, this might come in handy as a jigger. <laughs> the committee probably didn't have too much money to spend on trophies. Oh, well, that's possible. Say, by the way, who did you play in the finals? Uh, we played the Thornberries. And the, it was, the Thornberries? Yeah, now this is the most amazing thing. Oh, here comes one of the runners up now. Hi, everybody. Hi, Thorny. Oh, what, what the heck is that? Oh, it's my trophy. I thought I'd stop by and show it to you. <laughs> well, sure, Oz. The runner-up team gets a trophy, too, you know. Well, now, just a second. How come the, the, the runner-up gets a big trophy like that and I've got... I'm, how, what is this? Well, why not? It's only fair. You get all the glory and the wonderful feeling that comes with victory. The runner-up team gets nothing. So we on the trophy committee decided this would make a nice consolation prize. <laughs> Chelsea, this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't have been chairman of the trophy committee. Now, wait a minute, fellas. Let me get this straight. Thorny, did Will play with you? No, he went to the dance with David. Well, then how could you be eligible to play? This was a father and son tournament. Holy smoke, I almost forgot. Come on in, partner. Hey, I don't think you've ever met my dad. <laughs> oh, glad to know you, Harriet. <laughs> Paper? It's a big write-up about last night's tournament. Oh. Picture and everything. No kidding. I didn't know they took my picture. Wait a minute. That's a shot of you and your father. Well, look what it says under the picture. The valiant team of Thornberry and Thornberry nosed out by a narrow margin. And nosed out by a narrow margin? We beat you 21 to 5. Oh, well, that isn't important. And they wrote a nice article about Dad and me. Thornberry and Thornberry and... Thornberry. Just how do you rate all this? Oh, maybe I forgot to tell you. I'm also chairman of the publicity committee. <laughs> Thorny, that's the lowest, most underhanded thing I've ever heard of. Oh, Oz, please. As a friend of mine used to say, all's fair in love and ping pong. <laughs> Society has requested us to announce that the ping-pong exhibition by Ozzie and Thorny in the backyard was strictly for the birds. <laughs>